Hello there everybody. Uh, a viewer has asked me if it's possible to put um, some sort of wooden finish on the surface of models. Well yes it is. And I thought rather than just show how this technique is achieved, I'll actually model a real world device. Uh, and that device is going to be a pencil. This pencil in fact. So here we we'll go modelling a simple pencil. So here we are in Designs Punk Mechanical. We're going to start by choosing the polygon and we'll leave it with as a hexagon, six sides as we see. Now I've measured the pencil and it's seven millimeters across the flats. So type seven, return, uh, P for pull. And, we'll go on, and I've measured the length is about 60 millimeters. There we are. Now I'm gonna color this straight away and it's sort of a slightly orange yellow so we'll go to display colors it's this color here I should have highlighted it first no now we'll go there there we go so that's roughly the color near enough what we need. Now then we're going to put um, the lead in here which is not actually lead as you may not know. It's actually a composite of uh, graphite and china clay and the proportions of which determine the hardness of the pencil. Anyway that's by the by so I'll select the top We'll put a surface on there to sketch on. V. Now I've measured the diameter of the lead. Okay, we've got a sketch on there. Sketch plane. Um, I'm going to shift it a little bit. So that my lead isn't combined with the solid, I'm going to keep it separate. So now I can put a circle on here and just type C for circle. And lo and behold, we've got two millimeters diameter, which is what what we need. P for pull, and that's going to be 60 millimeters as well. And I'm going to rename this, for the want of a better word, lead. Uh, select display color black. <clears throat> okay, right. We may not need a hole through the middle in which to put this lead, but we'll make one anyway. So we'll select the end, K for sketch plane. Whoops. C for circle, two millimeters, pull, P for pull. Drag. I'm going to hold all, all the way through. Good. Now, I'm going to put this lead in to the pencil. <laughs> Select it. Move. Then drag the hub to the end. Right. Select the blue arrow. Then up to. And select the end of the pencil. And zip. There's the lead in the pencil. 
It's always nice to have you some lead in your pencil. Uh, <laughs> okay, right, I'm, now we're going to sharpen this pencil. So we'll select the center line uh, and then X for the section, there we are, V for vertical. So now we are going to sharpen it with now I've measured the sharpen sharpening end and it's two centimeters or nearly two so they are that's 19 centimeters across the Diagonal, which is near enough. And we need a little, I'm going to put a chamfer on, sledge chamfer on the end here. P for pull, select, select that so that the, the pull arrow is tangential to the center line and control click this end one as well. Then we're going to rotate it, select an axis, there's the axis, we're going to remove material so select the negative sign, then do a full pull. There we are. So we've got our pencil, but it's all yellow. This needs to be a wood texture. And I'm going to do the same for this end, the end part and the chamfer. The chamfer's a bit big, but never mind. Okay, so <coughs> what you're going to need for this operation is a, a little library of bitmap textures. So I dare say you can search around the internet and download your own bitmap textures. And I've got a, a little cache of them. So we'll select a file. Here we are. This is my cache of bitmap textures, ceramics, component, composite maps, dirty maps, eyes, fire, flooring, blah, blah, blah. Now I've got the wood selection highlighted here. Now the one I found best is way down here. It's a mahogany furniture light oak. Here we L.H. Margoni. That one. So we open that and we've got this texture bitmap. Now to wrap it, see we've got a couple of icons up here in the top left hand corner. One's just flat like this, just to put on a flat surface. But even to cover <coughs> a flat surface uh, at the limits of the flat surface you're going to need to use this uh, wrap round button here now it'll wrap onto a flat surface and a flat surface really is just a curved surface with infinite radius <clears throat> so we've got this so if we hover on under this part we'll see that look it's wrapped it round so we just click there it is you'll find sometimes maybe that your surface isn't big enough to cover 
the whole thing but then just use it twice to fill in the gaps so and similarly here we're going to use it There's a wrapped image, so we'll go down to here. There we are. And another one. Oh. There it is. What do you think of that, eh? So that's very pleasing and I hope you found it pleasing also and interesting and useful. See you again very soon. Bye.